Sup, international Tinder navigator. So today we got a brand new zombies update, and we also got that Jason Blundell interview where he talks about why the team at Treyarch decided to remove Juggernaut, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. It is kind of sad though, a, a lot of people are hating it, but hear me out though. After hearing his response and uh, playing the game or putting in a lot of hours into this game, I can tell you this the new perk system significantly gonna make the game more replayable in long term. I know that having Juggernaut would be much, much better better for real and my solution is that hey have juggernaut double tap and speed cola in the game and you can only pick one perk out of these three for your game let's say if you pick up juggernaut well you cannot go ahead and pick up speed cola or double tap and vice versa and again if you double pack punch your guns four times uh, i mean it's technically double tap so there's no point in that and i put in hours into this game and i can tell you this much though that there are absolutely combinations that you can try i did make a juggernaut's equivalent video which I will link it down below. It's a setup, and if you combine multiple different things, it creates that factor, and that's what Jason Blundell says, which I will actually show you guys in just a little bit. But real quick, I want to run through this update with you guys. As you guys can see, I got that 200 HP. Am I playing casual? Hell no. I'm playing on normal difficulty, and I still got that 200. And this is the patch notes for zombies. It says that they increase player health in casual, normal, and hardcore difficulty in classic mode by 50 points. And realistic mode is still not up here and I'm like damn son I haven't even tried and I'm assuming it's only gonna give you 50 health aka one hit and that's gonna be some sad nibba hours I'll tell you that much for sure but then we also got the balance adjustment to rate at which players earn points basically they buffed that shit and now you can make a lot more paper and get Benjamins up in this motherfucker but we also got balance adjustment to tiger attacks balance adjustment to hellhounds and the spawn radius speed and frequency see all of that is nerfed which is just a big big improvement to the game overall they also did an adjustment to health for a special weapon they also reduced the cost of shield repair and replacement and this is big because in my juggernaut equivalent setup video i talked about the perk territories and shield and let me tell you once you have those you are pretty much invincible for the whole duration and it seems like they upgraded or they updated that and made it slightly better which is obviously really really good but let's actually get into the interview i'll let you guys watch it he did it with johnny j25 so a huge shout out to johnny j25 for sure and jason blundell for coming on to the twitch race live stream i believe so he answers to those questions obviously if you're new to the channel like and subscribe we're gonna be on top of black ops 4 all year long this is gonna be a great year for zombies and i cannot wait to have a lot more content coming your way so here it is check it out and i will see you in the next you one. Know, what started as something so simple. Mm -hmm. I'm super glad that uh, it's, it's grown to this. Thank God. Yeah, thank you, you. Thank God you told me about this. Otherwise, I was doomed. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> and his thing. That is a. In the same way that people would think about Joe got certain perks in the past, the special weapon completely changes the way you should be thinking about moving, timing, um, and dealing with certain engagements. Ah. Uh. You know, for everything Tough. that we've introduced now, we've changed, we've actually made a balancing factor. Mm -hmm. So part for the community is going to be working out, okay, when this happens, I need to have something like this ready. Right. You know, oh. and that's part of the decisions of, oh no, I used it here. Oh, and then this thing, oh no. Yeah. Well, while you mentioned Jug, there is an absence of Jug in this game. Yes. What was the decision-making process like that to cut some of those beloved perks? Yeah. Um, well, was quite... it a tough decision to make or? No, because the way, the way we look at stuff, and it may break people's hearts, but completely emotionally. Mm -hmm. In other words, you know, I said when we wrote it all down and looked at it, you know, one of the big decisions was we want it to uh, have meaningful choices about what you're doing, what you're picking from the starting weapon, your special equipment, your special weapon. Um, and when we got to perks, um, we had this problem. And the problem is, is that everyone gets the same things. Mm -hmm. And so when we switched it on, we switched it on with all the normal perks first time. And uh, we just took a survey. We had like a little survey monkey, right? We could look at it. Yeah. And uh, everyone had the same perks. And we kept on adding more and more perks in the early days. Well, that's how every, pretty much the only time I ever diverged from the, the core four is mm -hmm. when I maybe got like an on the house or a, right. uh, or like perkaholic. Sure. So, so that's, that's what we said. We, we said, okay, let's take it out, let's take it out. And as soon as we took out certain perks, suddenly when I looked at the survey, mm -hmm. everything started changing. And I was like, this is what we want. And then people then started to have their own strategies. And then to 
they had different strategies on their own than when they were friends and with mm -hmm. certain friends based on how they play. And we're like, that's what we're after. Uh, and then we took that same mentality over to to the new Elixir system, which yep. was okay. We've, you know, we added a bunch of OP stuff. We did that because we were trying to cater to. You're saying Black and Black Ops Three, right? Black and Black Ops Three. So we, you know, in Black Ops Three, we put a bunch of OP stuff in there very deliberately uh, to try and reduce the barrier to entry for certain segments of the community. Um, but this time, once we could actually go and touch everything, mm -hmm. and you have to ripple those designs down. You then get to elixirs and you're like, okay, we don't need that. That's okay, and it makes total sense. Yeah. Um, you, d when you've got a system that's running or something as big as zombies, uh, you can't just just normally as you're going in a DLC season just go, okay, we'll just change that, you know, because you do it just it has effects. Mm -hmm. I feel like a total noob now, right now, Jason. But how do I change my map? Because I can't. Do I so gotta you, go back? Yeah, you gotta come up. Ah, yeah. uh, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Now, for those at home who maybe don't know and are fretting, they're like, oh no, no jug. What mm -hmm. am I gonna do? Yeah. What is your answer to them? Um, there is a whole bunch of other perks. Mm -hmm. um, you've also got... Um, here's the thing. There's multiple dimensions for you to change it so that to fit your playing style. Mm -hmm. So if you were to say... I would ask the question of the, of the person, say, why do you want Jug? And they say, well, because I like to get to high rounds. And I go, okay, well, there's multiple ways you could change the game mm -hmm. to allow you to get high rounds. You can, If you change nothing and said, I want to do normal difficulty... I just want to. I don't want to do custom mutations. I just want to play the normal game. I'd say, okay, well, how do you play? I usually sit at the top of the catwalk and kill things. Right. Okay. Well, then let's talk about uh, this perk. Let's put this perk in your slot. Let's put mm -hmm. that perk in, and that's going to be good for you. And that's going to generate the same kind of effect. And they could tailor their loadouts to yeah. what? So essentially, by removing Juggernaut and removing some of those beloved perks, you've given more freedom to the player. Yes, and I think I think we've we are also. Um, I think we've got more, you know, zombie community is at best when it's it's having conversations and it's talking and it's disagreeing and it's arguing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, all the stuff that sometimes oh, no. um, uh, could be seen as a negative, I see as a positive, right? Which is that people are interacting and arguing about stuff. I think we're putting more stuff for you to argue about, <laughs> more stuff for you to uh, discuss. And I don't think there's one right answer. I think there's a bunch of optimal answers for certain styles. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure certain things will bubble up. And then, then you make decisions about nerfing or kind of, you know, changing. And by no means would I say this game is that, you know, there we go, it's perfect. It's, it's mwah, and we don't touch it ever again. Um, when you've got millions of people playing it, when you put it out live, it doesn't matter how much testing I do. It's only once we're live that we can watch that, listen. But the, the thing I would say is so much stuff has changed that I'm not going to be listening for a little bit. Ooh. I'm going to let everyone settle down, get to know it. I, and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have our guys watching like we normally do. So of but course, like if there if there's a major day one issue, people. Will oh gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, this outside this door, there's a whole bunch of people probably watching this stream mm -hmm. and watching all the other streams just to, to see the kind of issues. And you know, we have our lists anyway. Um, but in terms of you know changing something significantly based on reaction, we'll wait a little bit, mm -hmm. see how it settles down. So this way, you're not listening to the immediate like rage because sometimes yeah. on the internet, people can be so volatile, especially oh, sure. immediately. Well, you know, it's like you know when when the conversation came out about joke, you know, if. I was in a reactionary state. I'd be like, let's quickly put it back oh, in. Oh, like if, if you if, <laughs> if you probably went out like on the stage of E3 and said no jug, you'd get booed <laughs> off. Just the drop stage. it. And just yeah, walk off, no yeah. jug. Walk off the stage. Yeah, have a little jug like the fridge and just blow it up on the stage. Like the classic, like PlayStation 399. You'd get the opposite <laughs> reaction. <laughs>